Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Military Force. Today I'm here with Zytrix, who is here for the video, and he's the designer behind the Tupolev 295 Bear. Now this is a Russian turboprop strategic bomber used during the Cold War. Uh, it originally started with the Soviet Union, but still the Russian Air Force, uh, they use it to this day. So it's like the Russian counterpart of the B-52 bomber, and you can usually see these guys <laughs> going on patrols, and often they go to like other countries' borders and try to like test out the enemy defenses, uh, their time response. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the build. And let's get started on the tutorial. All right, so the first thing we do, we're gonna make the landing gear. So let's go to the front. We're just building one half of it. So let's place down a black concrete down. This is gonna be our leading wheel. Then the inside part, we're gonna add in two spruce fence gates, make them face each other opened up like so and the one in the front we're going to add a deer right wall right behind it we're going to add a birch fence gate open that up towards the wall and above that fence gate we're going to add two more deer right walls so one and two and right next to the one on top we're going to add a birch fence gate right behind it then on this side we're going to add in the birch shop door and we'll close it up all right, and then there also is going to be, uh, what is this, a spruce button on the side of the wheel. Then we're going to add a brick slab to the side of this fence gate. Cool. And the front, let's add in this polish and a side slab. It's going to be four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. Then three quartz slabs. So one, two, three. Then we're going to add an iron trap door. Bam. Right above is going to be a snow block. Dangling up backwards, we're going to add another snow block. And we'll need to add in a little snow layer here. So I don't know how many layers that is. I think it's like three or four. So let's try three. So one, two, three. That looks a little bit uh, too low. It's at four. So I'm pretty sure it's four, four layers tall. Then on top, we need this pole, so we're going to add in daylight detectors. It's going to be four blocks long, and we're going to make them all blue. At the tip, we're going to add in two iron trap doors. All right, so behind this, there's going to be three nether brick slabs, so one, two, and three. And behind that, there's going to be a black concrete block. Diagonally outwards, we're going to add two more black concrete blocks. And then we'll take out another brick wall. We're going to add two of them like that. All right, so then we're going to add in an iron trap door here. And then uh, let's take out light gray concrete. We're going to add that right behind the snow block here. And to the side of this, we need to work on this a little bit. Uh, let's add in a snow block outwards like this to make it three blocks long and let's add a light gray concrete on top here and we're going to make this three blocks long as well then underneath this uh, trap door we're going to add an L shape of light gray concrete like so now for the bottom layer we're going to add in uh, two more light gray concretes like this and then we're going to need to make a two by two of stone brick walls like this and we're gonna add another stone brick wall here and let's take deer right walls we're gonna add two at the bottom and another one at the tip and another one right in front of the other wall like so and then we'll add in uh, this dark oak trap door here with a black carpet in front of that and then right on top of this uh, area of the cockpit we're gonna add in two diagonal dark oak trap doors Behind that, we're going to add a daylight detectors behind each of them. We're going to make it blue. And then behind that, we're going to make an L shape using polish and a sight. Then we're going to add um, another L shape of polish and a sight, but going the other direction. And we're going to add an and stairs facing the back. Right on top, there's going to be a light gray glass pane. Then behind that stairs we're going to add another polished andesite slab 
and then four smooth stone slabs. So one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to go back to polished um, andesite slabs like that. And we'll leave that alone for now. So back to over here in this area, right above this landing gear, we're going to add black wool. And then we're going to make it so it's going to be, uh, let's say, five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I lied, it's going to be six. So make it six. Then we're going to add in this quartz block here. And then like gray concrete, we're going to make it 10 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I'm going to add a polished um, andesite block here. It's going to make it two blocks wide like that. And let's make it two by three of like gray concrete. Another pair of polished andesite, and then two by three again, like gray. And then two more polished andesite. Then we're going to take out quartz, and this section is going to be approximately seven blocks long, so two by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Make it two blocks wide. And behind that, we're going to make an L shape of like gray concrete again, and then the middle quartz block. Then there's going to be four light grays, so one, two, three, four in the middle. The other side's just going to be two. And then we'll take out uh, polish andesite um, slabs. And this section is going to be seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like so. And then we're going to go to the edge here. We're going to skip four and then add polish andesite slab and then extend that to the rest right there in the front. All right, so next uh, we're going to go down the up and add light gray again. Make it seven long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Underneath here, there's going to be two smooth stone slabs, so skip two away from here, add those two slabs, and then a spruce fence gate. Now in the back, there's going to be a um, polished andesite slab, then a quartz slab, and then three more polished andesite slabs. All right, cool. And then to the side of that, there's going to be a spruce uh, fence gate. It's going to be opened up on the last one and also one in front of that one. And after that, there's going to be an andesite wall and a deer right wall, like so. All right, then we're going to take light gray again. We're going to add on top of this middle slab, make it four blocks long. So one, two, three, Four. Underneath that last one, we're going to add in a dark oak trap door and a hopper right behind it. Now above that hopper, we're going to add polished and a site block with this dark oak trap door like that and open that up. And then we'll add in a dark oak sign to the side of that. And this is supposed to be like, I think like a rear tail gun or something like that. All right, so then we'll add in another brick wall here, two black concretes in front of that. On top, we're going to add in three polished andesite blocks. Then we're going to go down the back and add another three here. On top of that, we're going to add two by two. And then we're going to add one to the back tip and then a two by two. Dangling up another two by two. On top of that, there's going to be three blocks wide of snow blocks and then a quartz stairs in front of that. At the back there's going to be a deer right wall and there is a lever right on the last snow layer and then an iron bar on top of that stairs in the front and then there's also going to be two uh, white glass panes on the side of that like so. Alright so let's go uh, back down here and then uh, let's go to right where this area is. We're gonna extend it so it all matches up with the rest of the light gray. So extend that all out like so. And then we're gonna go to the layer second from the bottom and we're gonna add five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, like so. Then we're gonna go diagonally up all the way up above there. So just keep on going on. Just one block at a time like this till we reach the top. 
All right, so once we reach the top part, let's fill in the middle area in, just like gray concrete all the way across, like so. Uh, then we're gonna go to this layer right here. We need to add in that red star. All right, so that's gonna be lining up this layer here. So just delete uh, these two diagonal blocks and add red concrete inside like so. Then we're gonna add a layer um, on the front section using cyan terracotta. So add that all the way down, down to the last one like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in three more uh, cyan terracottas in front of second to last layer. And let's add in two stone brick slabs here. And let's add cyan terracotta all the way across. And let's go two blocks past that slab like so. Then back to the tail, we're gonna add in um, stone brick stairs on top, all the way in the front. Then the frontmost one, we're going to add a stone brick slab here. All right, then we're going to take out uh, polish and a site uh, slabs. We're going to add in five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then a polish and a site stairs facing towards the tail. And then two more slabs. And then another stairs facing towards the tail. And then polish and a site slab. And then three smooth stone slabs. So one, two, three. Polish andesite slab, and then a light gray with a spruce button on top. Now go back to uh, the stairs here. We're gonna add a light gray um, glass pane on top of the one in the front, and a spruce uh, fence on the back one. All right, then we're gonna take polish andesite slabs and then add that in front of that all the way and connect that to the one in the front. It's gonna take us a while like so. All right, then we're to go to the back section. Let's go to right to the side of this uh, sand terracotta and then add that polished andesite slab all the way across to the front. It's gonna take us a while. But once we reach that point, uh, let's add in uh, light gray here. Then upside down, uh, polish and a sight stairs. Then two light grays. Another upside down, polish and a sight, like that. And then the bottom row, we're gonna add light gray all the way across to the last one. So right above these two stairs, we're gonna add in light gray carpets, like so. And we're gonna take out a trip wire hook. Add that diagonal to the cockpit right here. And below in this section, we're going to take out upside down uh, polish and side stairs and then make it go all the way across right to where uh, that stairs is. Then next, we're going to go to the front under the nose. Let's add an uh, iron trapdoor here and then two quartz slabs behind it. Then uh, polish and side stairs, polish and side slab, and then two iron trapdoors. And then a uh, birch fence gate and open it up towards the landing gear. Then right behind this brick, we're gonna add in four um, polished andesite slabs, like so. All right, so then we're gonna work on this part here. We're gonna add a light gray. We're gonna make it uh, 10 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like so. Extend the rest out. And then we're gonna go on the inside part of where these holes are and add black concrete inside so that the windows are indeed blacked out. So then we're gonna go to the tail. Let's add some detail there. So take out dark oak buns, add two right here, spliced apart, uh, acacia bun right here in the front, diagonally down. Then go to that second stairs and let's add two dark oak buns behind it. Skip block at four. On the row above, we're gonna add three, like that. And then we're gonna take out polish and a site uh, slab. We're gonna go diagonal to that stairs. And we're gonna make it four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. And then right here, we're gonna add a two by three. 
Then we're going to take cobblestone slab, we're going to make a Z shape like this. And then at the tip of the Z, we're going to add another two cobblestone slabs like that. No. Then we're going to take cobblestone slabs, we're going to make a Z shape here like that. And at the very tip, we're going to add an L shape like that. So it should look like this, and let's take out stone brick slabs. We're going to add two in the back here. And then we're going to make uh, L shape four blocks long here. Like that, and a small L, just three blocks like that. Wrap that around. Then we're going to add polish and site slabs, two blocks here. And then we're going to connect uh, these two parts. So we're going to add uh, two blocks here. And then it's going to go diagonal one block like that. So it looks like this. And then it drops down a slab. So let's go down here. Add polish and a sight slab down here. And we're going to add a 2x2 two two behind it. And two blocks sticking out here. And then there's going to be an L shape like this. Four blocks or three blocks long on this end. I'm going to add a smaller L of cobblestone slabs here. Another L of cobblestone around this uh, corner. And then stone brick stairs. Make a three block long L here around this cobblestone. And then two stone brick slabs behind those two cobblestones. And that's it for the tail. Then we're going to go underneath where this dip happens. Let's add two polished and slight slabs here. Go down only one block and add another three right there so that they connect a lot better. All right, so then we're going to go underneath, right underneath that black concrete. We're going to add a spruce fence gate, open that up, and add an end rod sticking out right behind it. Underneath uh, that fence gate, we're going to add a polish and a site stairs like that. And we're going to skip a block, add an end site wall here. Then two polished andesite blocks. Then on the top and the bottom, we're going to add iron trap door like that. And then top and the bottom of this one, we're going to add polished andesite slab like that. Now the one on the top, it extends to reach out the rest of them. While the one on the bottom is going to be four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to take out light gray again. Make it uh, five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Then at the fifth one, we're going to add an andesite wall here. Then we're going to take light gray again, and then we're going to add seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to add underneath that first one, iron trap door. And then polish andesite slabs all the way to the front, like so. Then we're going to add two blocks uh, tall of light gray like that, and then we're going to connect that to the other side. So it extends all the way across. All right, so once we reach this point here, uh, what we're going to do, go to this front area. We need to fill this in with light gray concrete as well, all the way across, like that. Then we're going to move on to the back, right where um, we left off over here. We're going to skip a block here and add six iron trap doors, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll take out polish and site stairs like that. And then we're gonna extend it so it's gonna be eight blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we're gonna add two court stairs and then polish and site stairs all the way across to the front. Like so. So then we're going to go right back to where the iron trap doors are. We're going to add two stone buttons here. And then go to the back section. Right around this area, we're going to add light gray right in front of that slab and then extend that all the way up so it covers up that hole that we made like so. And then we're also going to add in um, a dark oak button to the side of the slab like so. And then at the back, we're going to add a quartz block right here at the tail. 
Then we're gonna move up underneath the underbelly. Let's add a dark oak bun right before the quartz here. And then go to this body of quartz. We're gonna add quartz bun here, or not quartz bun, a birch bun there. And then we're gonna skip a block and add another birch bun right there. Then over here to this section, we're gonna add three dark oak buns like that. And then three more right over here in this box. In front of this one, we're gonna skip one, add one here. And then skip two, add one here. Then we're gonna skip four and add one there right before that quartz. Then we're gonna take out two light grays and add it right above that trap door. And then add a black wool block right behind it, like so. Then we're gonna to go to the nose and add a skull diagonally on top of that deer right wall like so. And let's add a dark oak button to the side of this light gray like that. Then we're gonna to go to this second window, just skip two blocks and add a wither skeleton skull. Then underneath we're gonna add two stone brick uh, walls like that. Then we're gonna skip um, a block and add in two polished andesite slabs like that. And the top row, we're going to add polished andesite block, solid block. And we're going to make this nine blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The back, we're going to add two blocks tall, or two blocks long. Dialing back another two. And then dialing back another two. Then we're going to go dialing forward, and then we're going to add one here. Then dialing forward and add three. Then we're gonna go dialing back and add one here. Dialing back and add one. Dialing back and add one. Dialing back, add another one here. Then dialing back, we're gonna add two right here. Actually, this goes one and then two. So it should look like this. Once we're done with that, we'd fill that in with polished andesite all the way. Cross like so. So it looks like this. Now in the front, we'd add polished andesite slabs on all of the front ones right here, like that. And then the back portion, we're gonna make it two by two slabs here. Add another one in this nook. And then we're gonna make this uh, stick out by one here and extend that all the way back to the front where it goes with that other diagonal. Then we're gonna go to the back and let's add two stone brick slabs here and one stone brick slab underneath. And we're gonna cobblestone slab, add one here. And then we're gonna add a stone brick slab here and then cobblestone slab, make an L shape around that slab. Go to the next one and add stone brick slab here. Cobblestone slab next to it and underneath it and then Polish andesite slab right underneath that cobblestone. Then underneath that cobblestone, we're gonna add polished andesite stairs. Two blocks long, upside down. It's gonna face towards the fuselage. Now behind it, there's gonna be an andesite wall. And then five stone brick walls. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then the inside part, we're gonna add polished andesite blocks. Inside part of all these walls. And then we're gonna make it stick out by one here. Add a dark oak button right to the side, both sides. And then underneath, we're gonna add polished andesite um, slab, like that. And then four polished andesites in front of that, so one, two, three, four. In the back, we're gonna add cobblestone slab here, and then a cobblestone block right on top, and then a cobblestone slab here. All right, so then on the top layer, we're gonna add an iron trap door like that. Then on this side, we're gonna add five stone brick walls here. And then three um, polished andesite stairs like that. So we're gonna add two cobblestone slabs here. And then stone brick slab here, cobblestone slab next to it. Then two stone brick slabs underneath. Then we're gonna add polished andesite slab right across that section right here. And in front of this cobblestone, let's add polished andesite slab here. And then there's gonna be five cobblestone slabs. So one, two, three, 
4, and 5. In front of that, we're going to add two polish and a site slabs, like so. And then we're going to add polish and a site slab here, and then another one diagonally up like that. So next, we're going to go to this part that sticks out in the back, and then we're going to line that up to the one in the front. Now, after uh, this ledge here, we're going to make this slab so it's going to be six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to add polish and say underneath like that, and we're going to link that up to the other side all the way across like so. Then we're going to go to the front. We're going to add two more right there. This is going to be where the propeller is. Then we're going to go to the side. We're going to add stone brick a wall here and then skip a block and add three. And then we're going to go to the other side. Just add one here and then three. And we're going to connect these two parts together using dark oak fence gate. Like so. Then we're going to go to the stone brick wall here inside of it. Let's um, replace this block here with a furnace, like so. And then behind this stone brick wall, we're going to add nether brick stairs upside down on both sides. All right, then for the one in the front, let's go over here. We're going to add a quartz slab right there. Then we're going to add a hopper that connects to it. And then four more quartz slabs, so one, two, three and four, then two iron trap doors, like so. Then we're gonna go behind this iron trap door. We're gonna add three uh, diagonal dark oak uh, fence gates. So it's gonna go down three blocks, like so. And underneath that last one, we're gonna add an end rod sticking down below. And then we're going to add dark oak fence gate underneath the end rod and open up towards the back. Then we're going to add the Oreos wheels. So that's going to be a two by three of nether brick uh, stairs rounded off into a circular shape, or just a circle like that. Then behind in the middle, we're going to add three smooth stone slabs like that and skip a block here, add another pair of wheels right at the back. And once we finish that off, let's add hoppers facing inside on both sides like that. Then in the middle, we're going to add in four blocks tall of deer right wall like so. Then at the very top part, uh, let's add deer right wall here and then end rod sticking up like that. So then to the side of this, we're going to add two spruce trap doors here, close them up. Same thing on the other side. Then two polished andesite slabs here, spruce sign to the side of this slab. Same thing on the other side, like so. And then the inside part, we're going to add a dark oak uh, fence gate inside like that. Then the inside part, we're going to add another dark oak fence gate right here and then a hopper, and that's going to face towards that wall. Then we're going to go move on to the front of the wing, back over here, and we're going to add a polished deer right slabs underneath all the edges in the front, like that, and wrap that around. And uh, once you're done with that, we can fill all of this in with polished andesite slabs. So that's going to take us a while, so I'm just going to fast forward this. All right, so once you finished off, it should look like this. Just finished off that part. All right, then we're gonna take out quartz and go to this third notch here. Uh, replace this block here with a quartz block and add a quartz slab right in front of it. Add a quartz slab underneath this part. And we're gonna make this quartz slab eight blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right above, we're gonna replace all of these with quartz cross like that. All right, and then we're going to go on to this part over here, add a quartz block underneath the slab. All right, and then we're going to add a quartz slab in the front of that, quartz slab underneath, and we're going to make it eight blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
You add quartz all the way across on top like so. So then we're going to go to one of these white pylons, add uh, fence gates all the way across the sides of it on the bottom. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to do this to the other one as well. Just add these fence gates. All right, and then the last one here. And once we do this, we're going to open up some of these fence gates. So skip one away from the edge and open the next two. And do the same thing on the other end. And for all of them combined, just I'm opening these fence gates. You could do both sides at the same time, actually. That is a bad idea because it matters what direction you're facing when you're opening the door. Like so. So next I'm going to take polish and a site slab and go to the next layer here. Make an L shape. Like so. And then go diagonally and add a 2x2. Two two. Like so. And then we're going to go to the back. Go diagonally. Add 3. Go diagonally forward and add 1. Then diagonally and add 3. Like so. Once you do that, we're going to fill in all the spaces inside with polished andesite slabs. Cross like so. And then we're going to go uh, right over here to, I guess, the fourth notch after the cobblestone. So one, two, three, four. Over here, we're going to add uh, five of these slabs. So one, two, three, four, and five like that. And we're going to go to the back and let's add two inosite, polish inosite slabs like that. Next door, there's going to be an L shaped polish inosite like that. Diagonally back, we're going to add another two slabs. Diagonally back, another two slabs. And then we're going to add a polish inosite right here at the tip. Two blocks in front of this one and two blocks in front of this one. And for this one here, let's make an L shape of polish and sight um, right around it, like so. Then we're going to add two more polish and sights here. And then we're going to add polish and sight slabs at, right over here in these two rows. And that's going to go all the way back to the front. Just for these two. Then we're going to go back over here to this side and fill in this part in with polish and site slabs all the way across make sure you don't open those fence gates up just wrap it around all around that white part and I think it's pretty much done let's go to the back over here that's one spot we missed like so and I don't know how this happened but <laughs> we'd make these polished blocks uh, slab I don't know why that was a block so next underneath this stick here we're gonna add polish and site and we're going to make it four blocks long. One, two, three, four. Add a furnace. And then add polish and say all the way to the back. Then the front, we're going to add two more polish and sites, like so. And the side of this, we're going to add stone brick uh, wall here, dark oak fence gate, three more walls. And there's going to be the same thing on the other side. One, two, and three. And then right behind that last wall, there's going to be um, another brick wall. Both sides. Like that. Then we're going to go to the front here, line it up that wall, add a quartz slab, and then hopper facing towards it. And then four quartz slabs. One, two, three, and four. Then there's going to be two stone, or not stone, iron trap doors like that. Then we're going to take polish and a slide slab. We're going to add two blocks along here. Diagonally add one. Diagonally and add two. Diagonally add one. And right behind the last one, we're going to add uh, two polish and a slide blocks. And then there's going to be a red concrete. Then two and a slide blocks again like so and then we're going to add cobblestone blocks here four blocks long one two three four lines up with that red concrete for reference 
if you need it, and then we're gonna fill the rest in with polish and a site blocks. All the way across on both sides. Like so. So now I'm gonna show you how to build one of the propellers, and you could do the same thing on the other one, it's the same design. So we'd go to the tip here and add a skeleton skull. Then we're gonna make um, sort of like this X shape with some blocks temporarily, like that. Other side, same thing. And the reason why we placed it like this is so that it's easier to place the blocks when we're placing it. So take out another brick stairs and try to make like this X shape again, like that, top of the bottom and then we'll need to add in smooth sense on the stairs on the block above it so it's like diagonally upside down for bottom ones, right side up for the top ones and then we delete these blocks, we don't need it anymore. So got that X shape. Now there's actually another propeller behind this one because the 295 they have two sets of propellers for each of the engines so two nether brick walls here and then sandstone wall on top. Same thing on the bottom, two nether brick, and then one sandstone at the very bottom. Then the back one, we're gonna add two nether brick slabs here, and then a smooth sandstone slab. Same thing on the other side, like that. So that's pretty much it on uh, the propeller design, and you're gonna do that to the other one. So once you have both propellers, like so, then we're gonna go to the back side, and right over here, we're gonna add two quartz slabs like that. Dangling back and add another two. Dangling back and add another two. And then this part here, we're gonna go add it so it's another slab underneath it. Then we're gonna go back dangling, add another two. Back dangling, add another two. Back dangling, yet again, add another two, like so. Then we're gonna go dangling down and add another quartz slab here. We're gonna make it two blocks long dangling back and then four blocks long. In the back we're going to add another two slabs here and we're going to make this section here four blocks long. So it looks like this. So then we're going to go to the front of the wing and we're going to add three polished andesite blocks to the side of this. We're going to take andesite slabs and we're going to add an L shape here. And then diagonally, we're going to add two slabs here. Diagonally, two slabs going the other direction. And then diagonally back, another two slabs like that. Then we're going to fill all this in using the slabs all the way across. All right, so next layer, we're going to go down a slab at uh, that polish in a site. Slab two blocks long. I'm going to make it a 2x2 two two actually. Then I'm going to add one to the tip here. And right behind this area, we're going to add two cobblestone slabs. Then back over here, we're going to go diagonally and add two slabs. And then diagonally and add three slabs going the other direction. Then we're going to go back diagonally and add another slab right there. And then I'm going to fill all this in using the slabs all the way across like so. Alright, then we're going to go underneath and add an L shape of uh, the slabs right there. And let's fill in the rest of this wing. So I guess let's make a 3x3 three three right here. And then fill in that nook right there. And then in the front, we're gonna add two more slabs, like so. I want to go to the next layer right over here. And uh, let's add in slab right here, diagonally, three slabs like that, and then fill in the middle part, like so. And then we're gonna go right to this pylon over here and fill in this part over here with the slabs, just two blocks like that. All right, so once you've finished all of that, we're gonna flip it off to the other side. So once you're done both sides, it should look like this. Then we're going to go on this side. It's actually a little bit different. Uh, let's go right over here to the tail, actually. I'm going to just move this button right here from this side to the other side. Like that, and delete this button right here in the back. 
Then we're going to move back down over here and delete these iron bars or iron trap doors. And these are just some pipings. And let's go and go to right where this part is. Go dialing. This one here, and then go to the next one. Replace this stairs here with a slab, and then we do that to all of these, including the quartz over here. We're going to convert that to quartz slabs and replace that with uh, this polished andesite block or andesite slab. I mean, do the same things on the other stairs, like so. So it should look like this. Then we're going to go on the roof, go right to where the slab is, go downly, and replace these blocks with five uh, polished andesite stairs. So, one, two, three, four, five, and then add in those light gray glass panes right to the side of it, like so. I'm going to add another one on this side, so go right to this point. Uh, skip a block of space and then add five more of these stairs. So one, two, three, four, five. Then add the panes on the sides, like so. So yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build the Tupolev 295 aircraft in Minecraft. And thanks to Zytrix for the original design. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more tutorials like this in the future. And if you haven't already, please join our Discord server. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.